Hello and welcome to Champions of Akash. Today we have another champion with us. Meet Arav Gupta, our champion who just secured the gold medal at the 66th International Math Olympiad recently held in Australia. Now this is a huge feat because he just represented our country after going through a really long process which involved IOQM, RMO, multiple training camp eventually culminating in the International Math Olympiad. And there he competed with math prodigies from across this globe to win a gold medal for our country. So it really takes some real good metal to be there. So I want to first of all thank you Arav for coming and joining us and Arav congratulations for uh, winning this great fete. Thank you sir. First question I have for you is you just represented our country at a global stage. How did it feel? It felt amazing and this had also been a childhood dream of mine to represent India at IMO and uh, it was quite interesting to see how this journey unfolded and finally it concluded the IMO and that was a very satisfying uh, conclusion. Fantastic. And when you were in IMO, mein jab aap Australia, there were so many students from various parts of the world. So tell us a bit about the peer group you competed and probably bonded and became friends with. Uh, the IMO is quite a short event. Like the only competing we do is actually in the contest itself. Mm -hmm. And so after that, it is mostly just uh, activities that we do and interact with students from other countries. Right. And did you get an opportunity to interact? Yeah, I got, I interacted with plenty of people. Which all countries? Give us some names. Uh, Norway, Netherlands and UK and yeah, some like some two, uh, two, three people from countries which from different countries. Understood. Could have been a great experience. Yeah, because definitely. The point, yeah. The point is global level, pe math mein bachche kitne smart hai. Kya kya karte hai? Uska koi idea mil gaya hoga. Yeah. Right? So, ara, one, what I want or what our audience also wants to understand is that, see the entire Olympiad preparation process, the stages, I mean, it's a long journey. It's not really taking a test and getting it done, right? Or ye karne ke liye na, lot of perseverance, lot of, uh, lot of commitment, etc, etc chahiye. Tell us a bit about how did you go about preparing and how did you go about uh, going through stages and keeping your focus on? Well, so because like you said, there are so many examinations that you give, all, uh, it is bound that not all of them will go as you expect, not all of them will go well. So it is certainly important to uh, say not lose confidence if some examination does not go well and uh, but that uh, happens if you are just uh, genuinely interested in solving the problems of yeah. this Olympiad and that way even if you are disappointed for a short period eventually the eventually you'll get the motivation to continue uh, uh, preparing for it again. Very 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 valid point. I think this is a this is an important point all our students who are preparing for this high stakes examination should note. Not only uh, students looking at Olympiad, JE, these are high stakes examination and what Arav is saying is that this is not really one day, this is a journey. So there will be multiple stages in the journey where you will have disappointment. The whole point is don't get this disappointed come to you and impact you. It's okay, it's a stage, move on and then start fighting for the next opportunity. That's, that's, uh, that's very mature for coming from you but it's also the aspect what makes a student successful. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, you, along with the math Olympiad, right, you also qualified in other Olympiads, physics, uh, chemistry, astronomy, you qualified in all this, right? But I think you chose math and you went on yeah. it. Tell me a little bit about this uh, multiple Olympiads and how do you manage to prepare for all at the same time? Uh, like, so, uh, first of all, like, there is sort of an interdisciplinary thing, like if you're preparing for J, then you are uh, probably going to be like sort of comfortable in all three maths, yes. physics and chemistry. And uh, math had been preparing for the longest time, mm -hmm. but uh, because like there is a lot of mathematics involved in physics as well. Yes. So, uh, and so that is why I was uh, like able to qualify physics with, uh, like I did not do zero preparation, I did preparation, but not as much as I did for mathematics because to some extent preparing for mathematics has also helped a lot in physics and 
I also had very great teachers here at Akash who helped me uh, prepare for both physics and chemistry and with the help of them I qualified INPHO and INCHO. Absolutely. So this is a typical question which keeps coming from our students, right? And I'm sure that you also will get how are these tests prepared with one another? Because eventually the objective is JE Advance to crack our mm -hmm. Okay, that is what it is. So along with JE Advance, how do I do Olympiads? I think you have answered that question very well. Because finally, syllabus topics are the same. It is all about how you deep you go into that, right? Especially in like physics, I think that in the questions in INPH are very like similar to JE problems, just slightly lengthier. Yeah. Lengthier problem, correct, exactly. That is the, uh, that is the main thing. But uh, important is managing all this and understanding that these are not different things. The intersection is huge. So if you are really going into your concepts of your uh, of your physics, chemistry and math and doing it very well and developing that application stage of understanding, all these examinations are possible to be prepared at the same time. That's the idea here, right? You also mentioned, I, I, I mean, what this, what this, whatever you told, right? We call this as the problem solvers mindset, right? The idea is you're, you, you are, you are really, really in love with doing these kind of things hmm. or you have developed that love for it which is why all this becomes an eventuality yeah right so so that is very good and it's important to keep it on till the very end and which is what we spoke about as the perseverance and other things hmm. yep so you spoke a little bit about the support you have from your teachers from akash teachers tell us a bit about the support system you have your family your teachers your mentors this is a big journey. How do everyone support you? And how, how do you take their support at the right point? So this is a very important point. I think uh, when it comes to the emotional support after the lows of any examination, for that mainly I would talk to my parents and my parents would support me a lot in this aspect. Uh, and that is a very crucial part. And as for my teachers, uh, my teachers would help me with managing my time. Like, uh, as you said that if you're preparing for both Olympiad and J, uh, there could be a lot of, uh, you would require a lot of dedication and time. So my teachers would allow me to, uh, say, catch up on previous J notes by when I'm preparing for Olympiads by taking extra classes and all. Very nice. Very nice. That's important. As yes. you rightly said, right? Time management is what everything is. So, this is two years, this is the two years. Right? Uh, but yeah, it is worth it. That's the whole point here. Yeah. Fantastic. And I really appreciate the fact that you're taking everyone's help. Because this journey you're taking up, right? And this is to all the students. It's a very lonely journey. You don't need to make it lonely. You should take all the support you get from the ecosystem, from your parents, from your f teachers, from us, from your from your friends, be open to them. Say, Ki, help chahiye. Everyone is there to support. That's the confidence all the students should have when you are taking up something like this. Fantastic. So, ye sab karte hoye na, jo Olympiad tha, various stage tha, global stage bhi aap kar rahe the. Kabi pressure aaya? There was definitely pressure at times. But at least like at the IMO, just like you have, uh, there you have basically one full day of travel. Yeah. One day is opening ceremony. By that time, the all the exam pressure just goes away. You are okay. like it fades away in all the other okay. things. The excitement and energy take there just takes over. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. So ye, uh, you told me about your love for mathematics, and you told me about the whole problem solvers mindset, which which. Uh, I mean, helped you take this path and other things. Hmm. But ye trigger kahan se hua? When did you decide that this is the path I want to take? I don't think there was like a sudden change. It was more of a gradual thing. What happened, like I think that technically you can say the very beginning was in uh, first or second class when mathematics developed as my favorite subject in school. Uh, and I think the reason was because I found it easier to solve because you did not have to memorize anything. Mm -hmm. It was... Uh, logical. Uh, yeah, very logical. So, uh, and then as I grew older, I like started to explore more mathematics. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, internet, obviously a lot of things are available. Yeah. I started to use research from the internet from a very early age only. Mm -hmm. And then when I was in 8th class, I got to know about Math Olympiad. Mm -hmm. And then these like math problems, they were not something I was able to solve. 
so and like at that point like school math i had mostly been comfortable on so this was quite exciting that there are math problems that actually like are quite challenging for me so as i said i took that as a challenge and challenges are fun only so and then i got deeper and deeper into that finally culminating at imo fantastic so this was a challenge which got you excited into it yes fantastic great great fantastic so arav um you told about two points during the our discussion ek to aapne bola ki the the uh, you leverage the vastness of the internet and the knowledge of the internet to learn more right yeah also time management is an aspect which is very important hmm. so in this world of social media and distractions and other things right what do you recommend to our students or what do you do yourself to ensure that you are balancing out things uh, i was generally rarely distracted but i think that like distraction should be uh, minimal like you should not spend too much time on it spending some time on it is okay because that would give you a break and all mm-hmm. so i think what you can do is maybe just spend time on one thing that you really enjoy like if there is some tv series that you really like you can watch that and uh, not watch anything else Th- that way you would make sure your time is uh, minimal because you're only doing one thing and but you'll get a break as well so having that control and having that discipline is what is most important right, right. use the tool for the betterment of of your uh, i mean betterment of yourself rather than letting the tool uh, control <laughs> control yes. you out of that perfect right so arav uh, tell a bit about rf as a person your dreams your goals your ambitions hobbies kya hai aapka ye sab batao na thoda well uh, like i said like generally as a child i used to get quite bored quite often so i started to uh, explore stuff like as a i used to play football a lot when i was smaller but i think after uh, around lockdown i uh, started playing less mm-hmm. but uh, during lo- from lockdown or during lockdown i actually used to read quite a lot of books mm-hmm. and i used to watch a lot of tv series which i still do mm-hmm. and uh, yeah th- those are my hobbies and as for my goals i think that i just uh, try to spend my time on whatever i find interesting at any moment fantastic right and uh, dreams to obvious hai okay ki uh, iit pahunchna hai that is the short term dream which you are very focused on i'm sure about it but long term dream kya hai <laughs> actually i have not thought about this i think i'll uh, probably think about it uh, deeper after going to college fantastic keep it open <laughs> the right thing to do great So, uh, are there any advice for all these students who are watching you, who want to prepare like you and be successful for math Olympiads? For Olympiads, for in general preparation, eleventh, twelfth, me, how to prepare? What should I do? How to balance? What should I do? Any advice? Uh, I would say that like uh, uh, try to be as involved and as interested in the process as possible. Do not focus too much on the end goal. Focus on the journey because, like, looking back, even though. like winning a gold medal at the imo is a very uh, good and everything but there were a lot of interesting points in the journey that i'll remember for a long time and uh, like i'm sure that is true for everyone even though right now this journey might seem monotonous or uh, very repetitive i think that uh, after it all concludes it will be uh, a very positive memory rather than a negative one so you should just focus on that and not get demotivated by uh poor results and all fantastic arav and i think that's a that's a beautiful advice uh, fall in love with the journey enjoy the journey everything else will come to you so thank you so much for spending time with us and thank you so much for all your inputs i know it is uh, we have ensured that you have a very busy schedule so aapko hame yahan na but thank you so much for it um pretty much uh, that's what from us and i really hope that you all enjoyed this conversation and picked up a few points which you can use in your studies while you are preparing for these examination thank you